Hello, this is LJ Bothell, and this is a short video on Microsoft Word's styles. And the information here should be transferable regardless of the operating system you're on, even though the information may be found in a different place than on the Microsoft Windows version of Microsoft Word. So I'm in the same document that I've been using for several um, videos. And what I want to do is go to our Home tab, Styles group, and look at Styles. Now, you can apply a style easily to an item by selecting the item. You can double click to get one word. You could triple click to get a whole paragraph or line. Or you can hold your cursor out into the margin and point a little bit over, click once and get that. So what I want to do is I want to apply a style. There are a variety of common styles in Microsoft Word. And if you create new styles or you inherit a document that somebody else worked on and open it on your computer, you may see a bunch of other styles come into play. Right now, we're just going to look at the default basics here. So this is what's called normal style, which is the normal paragraph text, 12 point, black, certain spacing, no indent, and so on. This is a title, so we're going to make it a title. We're going to come down and make the line below it a subtitle. Subtitle. We're going to make the by LJ Bothell. This isn't really owned by me. I did not write the lorem ipsum text, but it's a good line to have anyway. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take a look and I would like to make it something called strong. It's a normal strong style. I could just as easily have bolded it manually, but I'm going to use a style for that. And then down here, these are bulleted items so that they stand out because they're a list. I'm going to unbullet them. Then what I want to do is I want to apply something called a list style to them, which I would hope would bullet them. But the idea is a list is basically either a bulleted list or a numbered list. So I'm going to come down and look for a list paragraph. All it does is it indents them. So there's a couple things here I'm not really that happy with. Oh, and then finally, I want to come down here, and I would really like my paragraphs to be a little, little more spacious between the lines and have a little more space between them. Now, there are different ways to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a paragraph, come up to our Home tab, to our Paragraph group. There are things in here we could do, but I want to draw your attention to this little icon at the lower right-hand corner of the group. There tends to be one at the lower right-hand corner of a number of the groups, which means it will open a different panel. This is the Paragraph panel, and we're looking at a tab called Indents and Spacing. Line and Page Breaks is more advanced. But with this, what we have is left alignment. We have no indentation no special indentation. There happens to be spacing before the pair, no spacing before the paragraph and eight points after the paragraph. I'm just going to, for kicks, make this six points. And I'm going to make this, oops, I'm going to make this bigger, bigger. So there's a lot more lines in between it. That's a way you could touch things paragraph by paragraph. And that's okay. But what happens when you have a really long do um, art, uh, document that's got, you know, five pages, 10 pages, 100 pages? The textbook that I wrote for this course, Business Technology Essentials, was over 300 pages, I believe. And it was all written on Word. <laughs> so styles are really important. They help you know what your styles are and modify them so that instead of having to go through section by section, paragraph by paragraph, and manually changing things, you could do them at a touch. So let's go ahead and up here, I'm, just, I'm going to place my cursor by my title. I'm going to come up to my Home tab, Styles group, press this little icon, and this docked panel for styles will pop out. If I click on something, it will tell me what style it's using. I'm using the title style. This is the subtitle style. This is the strong style. This is the normal style. And this is the list paragraph style. And you can actually have, you know, half a dozen or a dozen different styles in a document for a title and a subtitle, a heading, a subheading, a list, a caption, a, a special emphasis, a 
particular item and for tips that like in the textbook, you see those tips that have a very light background behind them and then the text is all bold. That was originally done in Word and then I had to try to translate it to press books. So these are the different things you could do with styles. What if I don't like this style? What if I would like it to be bold to be able to use on this document and others? Here's how styles work. You see the name and next to it, you'll see these little icons that are very small, or you may not be able to see them, but they're very small and it will tend to indicate whether the style currently has information in it related to the font, the font color, the font size, whether it's underlined or bolded or whatever, and also that it has paragraph related information, items that you could touch up in the paragraph group here. If it's only got an A next to it, it indicates that it's probably just a standard text with only a text effect on it. And if you see something that's only a paragraph, it's the same thing. The paragraph just doesn't have any bold or any italics or any colors. It simply is set up with a particular paragraph style to it. And you can make adjustments to any one of these. So what we're going to do is we'll start with the normal. Normal is basically what affects almost everything in here, including this particular paragraph before I changed it. So I'm going to put my cursor at the front here. I'm going to look at normal and next to these little icons, there's a drop down arrow. And when you click that, you have the chance to modify the style and to do some other things which you aren't going to play with. But I'm going to modify the style and it will open up a modify the style panel. In here, this style is named normal. It is not based on an existing style because normal is sort of the key style that everything is based on, which you can change at a later time in other styles. Style, I want to keep it normal. But right now, it is Calibri body text. That's the font family. It's um, 11 point. I want to change it to 12 point. I want to keep it without any other text effects. But what I would like to do is make it so the paragraphs are a little different than the way they are. So there's a little down at the lower left of the modify style, there's a format button. And you could touch different things here. You could change specific things in the font to make it all caps, like for a title, change colors and so on. You can change things in the paragraph, which is what we want to do. I want to leave this left aligned, but I'd like it to have 12 points below it and six points above it. And I would like it to be a multiple of 1.15. It's a little more spacious, but not too much. So I could change these things in this indents and spacing tab of paragraph, which we saw when we opened up the paragraphs little icon that opened up the paragraph panel. But you can open this. I just clicked OK. You can open this right from the modify style to attach it to a specific style. Let's see what else we can do. We could add a border to things, which we're not going to. Normal text you want to be easily readable. We could add tabs if we wanted to. I don't know how much tabs are really used in a lot of places anymore because often, if unless you need to tab things several times in a paragraph, you usually would just set an indent for the first tab and so on. You could add numbering and, and so on. You can do text effects. We don't need any of those. Right now, what we've done is simply change the font size. We've changed the paragraph a little bit. We click OK. Now, right now, this paragraph didn't change. That's because I had manually changed it. So I'm going to click Normal, and there it goes. And all of these others will have changed the same way. You notice there's a little more space between them than there was before. And they also are 12 points. So I was able to make sure that most of my text was in normal format and then make changes to the normal style and it affected everything that's normal. Now, these things aren't normal. This here is a title. So let's see what we could do with it. I'm going to come here, modify, and I'm going to make the title 36 points. That's going to be huge. I'm going to make it bold, and then I'm going to change the color of it to a nice dark green. I'm not using actually a theme on this document. And then I'm not going to do anything else. This should be just fine, so I'm going to click OK. And this happens to be the title style. So if I came and clicked another line and applied the title style, there we go.
I'm going to undo that with Control Z. This is a subtitle. It looks a little odd and I don't really care for it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to modify it. Now it happens to be in 12 point. Why? It's actually based on the normal style already. And when the normal style for the rest of the document changed, this one became a little larger because it's based on the normal style. Now you can always remove that temptation for it to change if you change the normal style by changing it from being based on normal to no style. That sort of makes it its own default. Then you could come up here and you might say, I'd like this to be 14 points. I would like it to be black and I would like it to be italicized. And then let's go take a look at that paragraph again. This paragraph has eight points below it. I'd like there to actually be 18 points below it. And I will just go ahead and leave it at the, the, this here. There will be no indentations. So click OK, click OK. Notice how the cha cha text changed. So if I were to choose another piece and then choose subtitle, that's how that works. I'll do one more thing in here and then we'll let this go for now. And that will be this list. This is what is called the list paragraph. Well, I really would like it to be bulleted, but I don't want to go through pages and pages of a document that I have made already a bunch of list paragraphs on and manually bullet them. So let's come over here and see what we could do to the list paragraph. Also to see if we uh, you know, like the spacing of it or not. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to modify it. Right now it is 12 point because it's based on normal. Once again, I'm going to take it out of being based on normal to no, no style. That way, if I were to decide later on to change the normal to all bold, this wouldn't change to bold. I'm not going to do that, but that's what you want to have that freedom. Now, if you want it to always change to be the same size as normal, say I went in and changed normal to all size 14 point, and then this would not change with it. So maybe it's best to leave it based on normal. Okay. What I want to do is come down to the format and I want to look at numbering. I want this to be using bullets, so I'm going to do this. Click OK. And this is a preview here of what should happen. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. But this is really indented further than I would like. So I can go back in and I can touch the style again. And now I could take a look at the paragraph and I can see what's happening. And it's basically indenting the bullet itself to 0.75. And then the text that would fall after the bullet would be hanging at 0.25. The idea is this, if this was a really long line of text, you don't want to have different indents on the left-hand side. So this is fine, but I want to bring this bullet over closer to the margin. And I'm going to make it point, oops, 0.25 inches. And then I'm going to hmm, leave it the way normal is. This was set up by the normal and leave it at multiple. Well, in this case, yeah, we'll do that. Just leave it like this. There we go. See what happened? Now we have a num a bulleted list and it is indented a little more closely to the side. So that's a few basics of how styles work. I hope that was helpful to you. And thank you very much.